Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 on the GameCube. It was released by Capcom in 2003 and I believe it's a port of the Dreamcast version. Now, uh, I in 2006 I came back from Canada and a year or so before I bought my Wii I bought a GameCube because I didn't see the point in buying a console that I already owned. So I'm just doing this to stop the, um, the cutscenes kicking. So I bought, yeah, I bought a GameCube. Um, and obviously because it had exclusives on it and I really 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 liked it and I kept most of the game so I got my Wii uh, and stupidly enough though I sold a chunk of them off I didn't sell Metal Gear Solid off because it's my favourite game of all time not that version I sold this off which is my second favourite game of all time not this version but it's a good version I just think I like the PlayStation because it had a more of an impact on me when I first played it right so you've got a few extra options here you've got a range game original game uh, I'm not sure what the difference is, but we're going to go with a original game. And then you've got normal and easy, and easy just gives you a chunk of ammunition, which I'm also going to do. But, I have not played this since probably uh, right about the time, 2006, when I got it. And I remember it was super cheap. I picked it up today for a 10 on a charity shop because they didn't know what they had, but it goes for near 40 quid. Right, anyway, you know the story. Leon, Claire uh, get separated. Two stories. That was groundbreaking at the time. Uh, the virus is spread to all of Raccoon City, and it's absolutely fantastic. Now, what's run? No, nope, that's options. That's run. Doink. Oh, that's my bad. Now, I was disappointed at the time because I was expecting it to be massively improved. Uh, many people were. One of my buddies mentioned this when I showed a picture of it on Facebook. We were kind of expecting it to be like they were going to do a, what they did with Resident Evil. Obviously they didn't. I think, like I said, they just put the um, Dreamcast version. You really don't need to do this. You certainly wouldn't do this the first time you're playing it around normally. But the thing is, I mean, it is improved visuals. Is it in line with what they did for the PC version? I had the PC version. Now, I, oh, I love this bit. Gun shop, kendo, kendo, right. Because, listen to his dialogue. The dialogue is just, it's Resident Evil, but you know what's going on. Also, they could have probably skipped these because the GameCube disc loaded so much quicker than the CD, but kind of glad they didn't because it was in line the atmosphere. Anyway, wait for it. Please. You're only wearing a police uniform, mind. With your square looking shotgun barrel. That's alright. Could happen to anyone. I like the fact that he's twig. Look. Listen. So I like the fact that he twigged that there were zombies from the start, but also the fact that he locked the door after someone got into his gun store, already knowing that there were zombies. I mean, I'm, I'm you know, taking the piss because it's, it's fantastic. But yeah, are oh, the visual, well, they are better than the PlayStation, obviously. I want to get a sweet close angle. But I don't know, I was just expecting more. Maybe I'm just being, you know, ungrateful for the incredible game we got. Because I do remember when I first got this, I imported it from America. I mean on the PlayStation. Told this story before and yeah, just it was amazing. Sat down, played it all the way through both versions. Eventually ended up with um, Hunk and Tofu. I was gonna say Tunk and Hofu. So look, it gives you a bunch of bullets. It's not what it does in three. Yeah. You a gun shop and you don't have a shutter. Again, that looks really silly, crude and kind of rubbish by now, but that was Mind blowing back then. Yoink. Yeah, needless to say, this is my second favourite game. Not this version. Again, I mean, it's not vastly different to the PlayStation version. It's got improved visuals, quite quite improved visuals, but it didn't have the impact. I'd already, you know, it already broken my Resident Evil 2 zombie cherry at this point. 
Little things like this though as well, the noise. Alluding to death being around the corner. Can't shoot them through here. I mean, I got gameplays of this on pretty much everything. Right, and the remake is super Eve. Still prefer this. And you know what? It's groundbreaking as the first game was. I never actually liked it. I've grown to like it now. But back in the day, it was just, it was too hard. And um, yeah, I mean, I sat through and watched my mate play it loads and helped him out in little bits here and there, but it never, it never sunk my battleship. It's a bit intelligent reference in case you're wondering. Stuff like this, the multiple camera angles. I mean, his whole idea was to be cinematic. Oh, look, he's dense, he's just. The way they form, like, the slow motion, is he dead? Yeah, he's bleeding out. Time for a little hoop action. And by that, I mean I'm going to blow your heads off. Uh, I mean, if you've never played this, because you're young and stuff, Honestly, and you've got the remake, and you think there really is no point. No, there really is a point. You'll thank me for it. Can't compete with that, obviously. But it's... Well, if it wasn't for this, you wouldn't have that. And it's a whole different experience. And it's still terrifying. More so then, when I first played it. In the house by myself, completely by myself. In the dark. I've got resonant memories of Resident Evil 2 video, if you want to see it. It explains that. It's in my Nostalgic memory series. See, obviously, these extra bullets afforded me the luxury of doing this. You didn't get that luxury first time round. So satisfying. Oh! No! wrong button. I always do that on every version. I, I just seem to think that pause should be the way you uh, go into this tasty little menu. Have I got any health? No. And he's still in there. Is there not a reload in game? Jeez, someone's cooking on gas. Oh, we got a twitcher. So, I mean, obviously, I'm right at the start. I'm just doing a little bit of a gameplay talking, a little bit of rubbish, but I had to since I picked this up today. I will not be selling it this time. I was quite surprised for how much it goes for now, especially when someone told me what CEX are charging for it. But then, let's be honest, ever since uh, the coof, look at Mini, uh, CEX have just taken the friggin' piss with their prices. Even more so than when I used to f take the friggin' piss first time around. Like I said, we really don't need to be thinning them out like this. It's just fun! Yoink! Get used to that. I'll be doing it a lot. I like it a lot. I do like these easy modes as well. Just for the purpose of doing videos like this. Are we still alive? That was me. Rookie mistake. Don't forget to stamp on his head. Going the long way around. Yoink. It was a cool idea first time around to do this whole cover up the loading times with doors opening. I mean, we knew they were loading times. But it was still a cool idea. Also, because it's uneasy, it's far more generous. He's cruel, isn't he? Oh, she is. Jesus. Than um, with the ammunition. I want to see his head blow up. Oh. A series that truly lost its way for a little bit. Although, having said that, the remake of 3 is incredibly short. I know 3 was the shortest game, period, but the remake misses whole chunks of it out. Just so I put it out there, in case you haven't bought it yet. I got rid of mine. Kept two, obviously. Two's a masterpiece. The remake. Oh, shines and balls. Unlike my gameplay skills. Oh, fuck balls. <laughs> Once you get stuck in the middle, it's 
like a primary school disco. Look at me all banged up. There's food in Shah, though. I hope. Or herb. I'm not saying herb. I don't care what anyone says. It's herb. Well, it is over here anyway. But... Wrong button. Probably just play it till, till the old bell station. There we go. Three's on this platform as well, isn't it? On this platform. Three's on the GameCube, I should say. Because I had them both back in the day. How did I sell them? I've, always, I've done a video on it. Games I regret the most selling when I've upgraded my system. Especially when you consider that the... Uh, is there anything along here? That the Wii was compatible. It's in front of the flowers at the end, isn't it? I don't know. There's some herb around here somewhere. Good Leon all banged up. I don't know, maybe they change the locations and I really should get a white stick. Oh, if you do the cheat, isn't this where you... I can't remember now. You shoot the bloke, get the key, or he's wearing the uniform that you eventually get. I'm basing that on PlayStation 1 version, but I would assume they're the same. There was no point in me doing that. Oh well. Who thinks they should make another Resident Evil game old school retro throwback style? It with this sort of engine. I'm not saying necessarily release it full price, but I'd buy it. There's an idea, Capcom, get on that. You know you want to. Again. Well, I guess the police station wouldn't be locked. Well, no, it would be during a zombie apocalypse, surely. <sighs> Remember that, the first time you saw that. I mean, the PlayStation version holds up really well because obviously all the backgrounds are pre-rendered. You're blocky and glitchy and stuff like that. It's not, though. Just the right amount of puzzles. Apparently not the right amount of... Oik, health. Screw it. Can we go this way or do we have to meet the dead bloke first? Well, he's not dead yet. He soon will be, though. Yeah. Only they let Romero direct the first movie. Actually, he walked, didn't he? Because he didn't want it to be a PG-13. To be fair, I don't blame him. All the Resident Evil movies are shite, apart from the um, computer animated ones. I misheard it. I thought he said Egon. He wouldn't be out of place in this stuff. Actually, there's a mod, isn't there, for Resident Evil 2? Remake or everyone skinned his Ghostbusters. About two months ago, there was this incident. Skip, skip, dark. skip. I can skip to the end. Oh, I can. Who knew? Important thing for games. If you can't let me skip dialogue, we're having a bad day. Mainly because I know it all anyway. Alright. Well, anyway, this was just a little waffle on, well, the GameCube re I guess you could argue the first remake of Resident Evil 2, um, even though it was obviously originally done for the Dreamcast. Oh, can we save? Is that? No. Oh, he gave me his card, so I can open the door at least. Save my position, which I will not be keeping because, uh, obviously, I'm doing so badly at it. But, yeah. So, yeah, you could argue this is the first remake of Resident Evil 2. When I say remake, it's, you know, the game-wise is exactly the same. It comes on one disc, which is nice. Oh, where am I going again then? Oh yeah, the computer. My bad. God, I'm rusty. I used to know both scenarios completely and utterly off by heart. I still do Metal Gear, but I play that a lot more. And that's irrelevant in this uh, commentary. Yes. Thank you. Alright. Look, it's Windows 98 before Windows 98. Both doors. So anyway, if you had, I mean, not so much the original Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation, but if you had it on the Dreamcast, or you had this GameCube version, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you like the fact it was cleaned up a bit? Or was it just not that much of a difference or departure? Were you expecting more? Uh, not just in the visual department, but I guess in the gameplay department. 
I mean, how much more, I don't know, because you don't want to remove it too much from, you know, where it cut its, uh, its bread and butter and stuff, but liquor, liquor. But yeah, anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.